Welcome back to another HD production from Z Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at how to make our website banner, um, which includes a navigation bar, and have some extra info. So what we're going to do, it's probably going to be a two-part tutorial. The first part is going to include the making of the banner and the navigation bar. The second part is going to be slicing that up and then importing it to Dreamweaver. So this is the banner we're going to make here. It's got our logo our navigation bar with home video reviews all that good stuff and a subscribe button and whatnot so first off what you want to do is you want to open up Photoshop if you have another uh, creator like GIMP or something you can use that too I'm gonna put the width to 1000 and I'm gonna put the height to 120 we have a transparent background and here we go now first off we want to put in our gradient so go to the paint bucket and hold over it and go to the gradient tool select the two colors you want I'm using a light gray that goes to a white my gray is E7 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 and then just a basic white so click OK and while holding down shift drag from the top down towards the bottom and then we have a gray going to white as you can see there it looks pretty good it's kind of a silvery color so now that that's done we just want to go ahead and our logo so control O to import your logo look for that logo that you made if you don't have a logo and if you want to know how to make one I have a tutorial on that too uh, all the links will be in the description anyway when you find your logo I'm going to pick this one here just open it up and it will open up in a new tab in Photoshop you just want to grab that tab and you just want to pull it off to the side like I done there and then you just want to click and drag that onto your banner and there you have it onto your banner now that's a bit too big for this banner so we're just going to resize that by pressing Control T or edit free transform we're going to put the width to 80% of its original width and 80% of its original height when you're done with that size it up what way you want and tick the button so now we have our logo we want to put in our text so make a new layer um, first off you do want to rename your layers so let's just rename this one straight away we're going to call it logo and we're going to call this BG for background so now with that we're going to create a new layer and we're going to get the text tool here and we're just going to type there but first we want to edit the foreground just switch that around there so we have the nice blue foreground we're going to edit this to around 24 pick no that's too small just type in Z tutorials there or whatever you want to type in highlight it and let's make it a bit bigger 36 maybe 48 yeah that looks pretty good move that around till you have it where you want so now that we've that done we just want to put in our our little navigation bar so go to your drawing tool and go to the rounded rectangle tool when you've that selected have your rulers open by pressing Control R or go into the view mode I want my ruler about 15 pixels up from the bottom so I don't want it to go over that and then simply we're just going to draw with our rounded rectangular tool from the bottom up to the top and when we get a nice shape we have that nice blue as our foreground now that looks pretty good so we're just going to duplicate that layer by pressing Control J when we select the layer and press Control J a couple of times we're going to make about five copies of it so now we have that we're just going to select on the first copy and drag it over then we're going to do the second copy drag that over again and of course we're lining it all up with our ruler there that's very important so that we won't have it looking uneven or anything so now we've four done the last one I think this might be a bit too tight we might have to spread this out a bit but that's an easy fix and you can fiddle around with it whatever way you want just make it look good and make it look professional yeah we want to push it all over to the right a little bit so grabbing that last copy again we're just going to drag that over a bit and we're going to do the same with the other layers so now that's done and it's all lined up nicely we're just going to finish that and we're just going to put in our little subscribe button now you saw on my one that I had a little subscribe button but first off before we do that we actually want to name these so we're just going to go to the first shape shape one and we're just going to call this button home of course that point is too big so we're just going to put it to around 14 point make sure your foreground color is set to white 
Now that's a bit small for me, so I'm just going to highlight that and put it to 18 point. Line that up and of course use your um, arrow keys to get it more accurate. And then we're just going to do that for the rest of the layers. So click on the copy, text tool, put in video, size that up with our arrow tools. I'm just using left and right here a little bit of up and down as well. Again with the text tool we just want to put in photo. You can put this whatever you want. It's really customizable. Anything you want can go in these boxes. Don't just copy me. So in the third, fourth copy we just want to put in about. So there you can have all your info. And of course the last one we're going to have very original I know but contact. I think every website should have this button because surely somebody out there is going to want to contact you about what you do. Now that's a bit big so we're just going to change the point on that to a little bit smaller and again use our arrow keys to size that up nicely. So now that's looking pretty good we have our logo, our text with our name. Uh, you can put in ztutorials.tk.com whatever you want there, put in whatever text you want there. Now we want to open up our subscribe button. So control O and look for that button I downloaded earlier. Now if you don't have a subscribe button all you need to do is just look for one really on Google search will get you one easily. So there's our subscribe button but as you can see um, there is a white background around it. We want to get rid of that by going to our magic wand tool. So all the way up nearly to the top about four down and we want to go up to our magic wand tool and we want to select that W is the shortcut and then just click on it and press delete and it'll delete all that background for you. It's a very very easy tool, I use it all the time. So now we have our subscribe button in, we want to name that layer, so we're going to name that subscribe. And now we want to put in just a little bit more text, so we're just going to go to the text tool, create a new layer, and we're going to write in something like free tutorials. Now I forgot to change my color there, so if that ever happens you just highlight it and go up here to the nav bar and pick whatever color you want. I'm just going to pick a plain black. Uh, we might put in HD there, free HD tutorials, because of course all my tutorials are in HD. So there we are, line that up, use your arrow keys if you want to line it up correctly. So now we have our lovely navigation bar. So in the next tutorial we're going to slice this up, we don't have time to slice it up today. So we're going to slice it up and we're going to import it into Dreamweaver. So I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. There's a little annotation there that you can go to that video right now, it's up the same time. So please feel free to subscribe for more videos like this. And head on over to the slicing up tool because that's pretty much the most difficult part in it. But other than that it's pretty much easy and hopefully we'll end up with something like this.